What's up, guys? Ice man here. Welcome to the Diablo Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Ice Stack. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Like this video if you will. Subscribe to the page and hit the bells so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my channel members and patrons. Links in the description below. May you have many wives. Also check out my Diablo 4 channel. Linked in the description below. So welcome back to the research institution. What I have here is a paladin. And I am about to make one of the most GG AF items in the game. In terms of aesthetic. All right. That item, of course, is Breath of the Dying. In an ethereal berserker axe. So let's just make that shit right now. Vex. Hell. El. Eld. Zod. Earth. Oh my god! Holy freaking toad! God damn! So, uh, this is a minimal road. Uh, roll in terms of its DPS. Or enhanced damage, rather. Two used to Diablo 4, apparently. Plus 350% enhanced damage. And of course, Breath of the Dying ranges from 350% to 400%. And if you make it in a superior item, that of course will add to this percentage. So, complete ass. Uh, which is actually a good thing for research purposes. Because then if you make one of these things, it's not going to be any worse than this one. Uh, and even still, it has not bad of damage, I would say. 162 to 477. Indestructible. 50% chance to cast level 20 Poison Nova when you kill an enemy. 60% increased attack speed. Plus 350% enhanced damage. Negative 25% target defense. Plus 50 to attack rating. 200% uh, 7 mana stolen per hit. 13% life stolen per hit. Prevent monster heal. Plus 30 to all attributes. Plus one to light radius, a godly as fuck stat. Yep. So, uh, yeah, again, a uh, very shitty roll, but that's fine. So what I wanted to test out in this video is a zeal paladin. I haven't made one in a long time, and I don't believe that I've made any of them for the research institution. So I suppose we'll start out with Breath of the Dying, even though it is a, a pretty top tier item. But nonetheless, I'd like to try it. But something unusual about this build is the fact that it wears Enigma and not Fortitude. I just want to be able to run fast and teleport to the Chaos Sanctuary and things like that. Uh, without having that just puzzler or switching out some gear and shit. So I'm going to keep things consistent in these Paladin videos and wear Enigma. So let's see how well it fares in the Frigid Highlands. Oh my god. 2007 to 5,990 damage. And the mercenary has might, along with Reaper's Toll, a very shitty armor, and Crown of Ages, just for defensive purposes. So I try not to deck him out too much. Uh, it is an ethereal Reaper's Toll, but there's nothing in it. And again, it's just a shitty armor that he has on. Oh my god! Holy toad! Alright, wasn't that great. Alright, let's see what it does to Shank, to Big Fatty. Holy shit! Look at the freaking poison Elvis! Let's slap that, slap that bitch. Alright, so that's not that bad. Ooh, some rare items. Cute little rare items, look. Occasionally I like to identify rares, especially if they're something other than those two item types. It's locked. Maybe boots, diadems, all that, of course. Amulets. Alright, so let's try out the Chaos Sanctuary. And now, the might on the mercenary has been initiated. So with that, he's doing 2300 to 7039 damage. And for the rest of the gear, laying of hands gloves. For obvious reasons. The nice 20% increased attack speed. And they GG as fuck. 
350% damage to demons, and some nice fires as well. So here's his resist, not all that great, but it'll have to do. Carry on wind, I like casting tornadoes when I hit shit, and it has some lifesteal. Tea gods, raven frost, not perfect, but it'll do. Goal riders, for the nice 15% chance of crushing blow, 15% deadly strike, 10% chance of open wounds. So I'm going to continue wearing these throughout the Paladin videos because, of course, some items don't have any crushing blow, some weapons that I'm going to use, don't have any crushing blow, open wounds, or deadly strike. So at least I'll have a little tiny bit. Uh, Breath of the Dying is actually one example where it has no crushing blow, deadly strike, or open wounds. So at least I have a little bit right here. And then I have a, uh, Enigma, of course, as mentioned. Vampire Gaze, because it just looks epic. In fact, check this out. It looks a lot different in D2R. They uh, did something with the art style. Uh, it looks pretty cool, actually. Oh, look at that Holy Shield. That actually looks really good in D2R. So, Vamp Gaze for the dual leech. The nice damage reduction. This one is not perfect, but it'll have to do. I was going to put a Charm Rune in it, but I just love wearing Ravenfrost to get some nice decks in AR. Uh, so I just went that route. I could put something else in it. High Lord's Amulet for the nice deadly strike you get from that, and the 20 IS. And Exile Shield. Very defensive, not all that offensive. Uh, pretty cool mods on it. Level 14 Defiance Aura when equipped. Uh, and uh, the Life Tap on Striking. 15% chance to cast level 5 Life Tap on Striking. And of course that will override any curses such as the uh, Decrepify from Reaper's Toll, unfortunately, because this is really going to help out. Uh, so I might want to switch that shield out. We'll see how often it procs. And in terms of skills, I just maxed out Fanaticism at level 29, where it increases my damage by 526%, and the party damage by 263%, our attack speed by 37%, and attack rating by 180%. I maxed that out. I maxed out Zeal, along with its synergy, Sacrifice. So, plus 378% damage right there. And look at my Mercenary just destroying. Holy shit. Um, and in terms of... Yeah, I have a massive amount of enhanced damage from the skills. But uh, that's not going to show up here. But on this character... 48% Deadly Strike, 15% chance of Crushing Blow, 10% chance of Open Wounds, and uh, some other decent mods. 350% damage to Demons, and 200% damage to Undead from the Breath of the Dying. So, against these Undead, it should do alright. Oh, the attack rating is ass! Oh, that's odd. Uh, I might need more decks. Holy shit, that attack rating sucks. I was expecting better. Uh, that might be this guy's downfall. Perhaps I should put on another Ravenfrost. AR charms would help, of course, but I'm trying to keep it real simple. No charms on this guy outside of a perfect torch and Danny. Alright. Oh my god. Holy shit, it's 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 not that great. Research noted. I would like to test death in a Berserker Axe on this guy. Uh, of course, grief and some unusual uniques. I would also like to try some two-handers. One of you in the comments made mention that your zeal fanaticism paladin wields a Colossus blade. Colossus sword, I think is what it is. Breath of the Dying. I can't recall which one it is. I think it's a... Is it a blade? Uh, the biggest one that can get six sockets. I always get the two confused. I think it's a close blade, but... Uh, so I'm going to try that out. I'm going to try out some two-handers. Uh, maybe like a double up to bone snap. But yeah, this is actually not all that impressive. I'm thinking death and grief will perform better as long as I can hit this nice IS breakpoint. Not a horrible range. Teleport right into the middle of the pack. And I am casting 
life tap relatively frequently. Oh! Oh, shit. I thought that was unique. Paladin shield. I'll do storm shield for a minute. The mana steel just spills right up. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh... I'm a little disappointed. A little lackluster. The damage here. But that's fine. Just a titbit lackluster. But I'm going to experiment with other weapons. I actually have a Nord's Tenderizer and Stash. An ethereal one at that. So I'm curious to see how that thing fares. But, oh my god! It sucks! Holy shit! Is that on Player's 8? It's on Player's 1. Nothing but minor pots in the belt. That's fine. See how it performs against Satan. Jeez! Holy shit, I can't hit him! Come on! Damn! Alright. But let me know what you guys think about this build in the comments. Shit, it sucks! Yeah, I was expecting better. Uh, I'm thinking I should probably switch out Exile with, um, with a uh, HOZ, maybe. Just so it doesn't proc over the Decrepify from the Mercenary. Alright, let's see how well it fares against the Trav. Oh my god. Holy shit. Pretty good. Oh my god. Alright, it obliterated them. Look at how fast he swings it. Alright, so I don't have a cube. I'm going to have to go fetch the damn cube to try the cow level. But uh, that's it for this guy in this video. I'm, I'm curious to try out uh, the Nord's Tenderizer uh, and uh, the unique Tomahawk Razor's Edge. I'd like to try that. Just some rather unusual uh, items I'd like to test on this guy and see how they fare against like the top tier rune words. So stay tuned to those videos and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace be with you.